talk or argue or make her feel uncomfortable. <laughs> The object seems to shadow his exit. Vivos de un cometa. No, no. Esa es la palabra de. Esto es video carta. ¿Qué es eso? 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 ¿Qué es And um, this is an extremely dangerous plant, as you see from the warning sign, it's Gimpy Gimpy. Hey guys, hope you guys are doing clear and safe. I'm back with more videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Video was posted on Reddit and it was from the year 2006. We can see a few friends singing and enjoying in some hilly area. And in the background, we can see a woman in red, who is not reacting at all. It doesn't seem that woman is with the group. Now the camera pans in the other direction. And when it comes back to the same spot, woman is not there anymore. Was she a ghost or this scene is from a movie? What are your thoughts? Video was posted on Reddit. In the video, we can see a block inside the truck. It fell from the truck two times and then bounced back to get inside the back of the truck again. According to a user, there's a theory behind it. So according to him, the box is traveling at the same speed as the truck, but it experiences less wind resistance because the truck is blocking the wind. Therefore, it appears to accelerate but it actually moving at the same speed with the truck. Plus, it seems to catch a lucky bounce. What are your thoughts? If you ask me, it seems this video is edited. Recently, I carried out a paranormal investigation at Oxford Castle. We were let in overnight and the only people there. This was live footage, which I didn't notice at the time. But if you look closely, there appears to be a face at the window. As I rounded the corner and walked down one of the dark halls, I saw a figure leaning against the wall. Again, it wasn't there while I was doing the live feed. The chief test pilot for the X-15 program is Major Robert White. The engines burn for 82 seconds, accelerating White to 3,800 miles per hour. He is higher than any person in recorded history. White radios to ground control that he sees multiple unidentified objects. The object seems to shadow his X-15 as he zooms through the upper atmosphere at more than five times the speed of sound. 
the object keeps pace with the fastest aircraft humanity has ever produced for several minutes. When White lands, he reports his sighting to engineers as part of his debrief. Official reports suggest the objects were caught on film by at least one of the onboard cameras. But mysteriously, this footage is no longer available. Video is coming from India, from the mighty Himalayas in Leh Ladakh, where troops are training eagles for dropping and destroying enemy spy drones. These eagles are trained in a way so that they didn't get hurt while doing the job. And this method is also environment friendly. This video was posted on YouTube and according to the claim, this car is attending a ghost. When automatic doors open, the car attends to a person that only he sees, takes her information and even offers her a wheelchair. I mean, after reading the comments, I came to know that this security guard was bored and doing some fun. What do you think? Is this true? I doubt that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Video was posted on Twitter and it was claimed in the video that it's a ghost attack. On the second note, I think it's some kind of creature. What do you think? Video was posted on Reddit and the location is Marion, Ohio, United States. In the video, we can see two bright UFOs at night. It seems these UFOs are moving at high speed, but quality of the video is not good. What are your thoughts? Let's watch the video. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. It seems like an old school saucer shaped UFO with various lights around it. Video was posted on Twitter. Look at this guy showing his skills on two bicycles. Can you do it? How this car comes into this position and it hurts. Not sure about the location of the video, but what do you think about this video? Don't forget to leave your comments. Video was posted on YouTube. Look at this snake rescue in state of Goa, India. This is a huge king cobra. Tell me. Have you seen this big king cobra before or any other venomous snake this big at your place from where you are watching this video? Don't forget to leave the comments. Let's watch this nail biting video together. <laughs> Oh 
A Buda to graj. A to kule te jeba ena mami vardu. Eksaye kune ta. Ante don don hoy de lek. Tu ne ge te kare. Video was posted on Reddit and this guy was leaning against the wall and as soon as he got up this happened this could be a final destination moment what are your thoughts you might be thinking what kind of creature this is just wait for this video clip to end and you will know This tornado was captured on camera in Kansas, United States. Look at this guy go who turned on no gravity mode it looks like a loop but this is not this is actually happening Look at this guy carrying all his furniture in one go This is a very inspiring story. Jadav Payang, a localite from Majuli Island, India, saw his place turned from lush green forest to a barren land. Then he decided to plant one tree on a day, and he did that for 37 years. And now there are animals also living in the forest. Let's watch this beautiful story. I bet you haven't seen this video before. This ceramic piece can do a lot of damage. Let's see. A guy is stuck to a kite's tail. 
at a kite flying event but he was rescued safely by the people present at the event Video was posted on Reddit and this video was captured by a CCTV camera from an ICU of a hospital. What kind of white thing this is? This is the wettest place on earth, Cherapunji, India. The video was posted on Facebook as a reel and it was during the Diwali celebration in India where a rocket came from nowhere and it landed on the crackers that were lying on the floor and then this happened. Fortunately, no one was hurt in this. Let's watch the video. These kind of strange light pillars can be seen in the parts of world. This particular video clip is coming from Jeju Island, South Korea. In the end of the video, I'll show you so-called explanation for these lights. So wait for it and watch the full video. What kind of phenomena is this? The dictionary defines a fallen angel as an angel who rebelled against God and was cast out of heaven. The following disturbing video is from Iran and was recorded close to the historic Euphrates River. The person noticed a weird hole in the ground and what happened next was absolutely chilling. Moans, screams, and the rattling of chains can be clearly heard, coming from the hole. The cameraman claims that these sounds can only be made by some kind of fallen angel. Whatever it is, if it is a creature or a fallen angel, the sounds are absolutely terrifying. What is your explanation for this video? Y'all check this out. It, uh, well, I said that those are them giants I told y'all about. That's underneath the earth. I already told y'all there's giants in Iran. Thank you. 
hear the chains. I'm I'm conflicted as to whether it's a fallen angel or a giant. We found the same video on various social media sites. I mean we can't see anything through the hole but there are sounds that are coming of rattling chains and other sounds. But these sounds can be created easily. What do you think about this video? Don't forget to leave your comment below. This video is coming from India in the state of Gujarat where a bridge collapsed but I think there's a conspiracy behind it because you can see there are people that are kicking the cables of the bridge. I'm not sure what are they trying to achieve but the bridge broke. And this is the CCTV clip that captured the moment when bridge collapsed. And what happened next I'm not able to show you because of the obvious reasons. This was posted on Twitter with the caption that this yogi spotted by Indian army in the snow of Himalayas. What do you think? Is this real? Because it doesn't look like a real video to me. Skygate kind of strange phenomena in the sky of Palestine, Gaza. You can see all around the sky there is the orange light but there is a void where we can't see the light. What do you think? What is happening there? posted on reddit and the location of the video is not mentioned. According to the witness, he was filming fighter jets flying over his house and suddenly he caught some kind of orb or UFO that was shiny in color that came from top of the video and then moved around the plane and went right. If you keep eye in the red circle, you can see it. Is this video edited or is this real? I mean till now I've seen so many UFO videos which are still in question so I don't know what to say. What are your thoughts? A video has said to come from Russia which has the internet absolutely terrified and creeped out. The video shows a 4 feet long snake is being pulled out of a woman's mouth. The woman is uncautious in the hospital while the doctors perform an operation to pull out the object from inside her mouth. Just then a long creature is pulled out and within second the staff realized that it is none other than the reptile that must have been in her body. The horror is evident in the nurse's face when the snake was pulled out. She jumps away for a few seconds and then takes the snake in her jittery hands to put it in the medical bin. Till now it has not been ascertained for how long the snake was inside the woman's body and whether it is still alive or not. 
Also, the woman hails from a Lewashi village in Dagestan, which is a mountainous region that runs along the Caspian Sea. She remains to be unknown, along with the type of a snake that was in her body as well. I'm going to leave some bread here, guys. Video was posted on Reddit, and this guy was outdoor. Maybe he's camping or something. When he was ending the video, we can see some kind of black figure or a Bigfoot, as it was claimed in the video. What are your thoughts? Let's watch the video. Oh well. Yeah, did you see the big tree break over there? It was a good snap. More train versus man video from India. Video is coming from a YouTube channel, Daniel Amlin Jones. The man, Daniel Amlin Jones, from Oxford, grew what is known as most dangerous plant in the world at home just because he was poor. In this video, he has shared all the information about this plant, how dangerous this plant is. Let me tell you something about this plant. As per experts, the plant, which is also known as Gimpy Gimpy or the suicide plant, has a sting so painful that it can trigger suicidal thoughts. The plant is known to have the capability of torturing its victims for over a year if its stinging hairs are not removed from the skin. Ameline Jones, however, is cautious about keeping the plant away from the human touch. He was keeping it in the cage with a danger sign written over it. Let's watch the full video. And don't forget to leave your thoughts about this video. you see that? Can you see the very fine leaves? Fine, fine leaves. Fine, um, what am I talking about? Hairs. Do you see, do you see the fine hairs? And they give it a kind of fluffy appearance, so it's quite deceptive. It looks almost quite sweet. Um, but actually, even the slightest touch leads to agonising pain. And, you know, you can get swelling of lymph nodes and things, etc, etc. So to safely um, grow this plant, which um, obviously you want to do, I have it in a cage. This is a parrot cage. Um, and it's a locked cage. There is a padlock on this gate. Obviously, things like pet. Um, obviously, we don't have any children in the house, but what you also have to do is make sure that the leaves are away from the bars, just in case if somebody um, um, contacts, uh, contacts the leaves. So, um, yeah. Um, uh, that's 10 percent solution of hydrochloric acid. You need to bathe. You don't rub the area, but you bathe it in 3 percent solution of hydrochloric acid for 30 minutes, and then you have to use these wax strips to remove the hairs. Because it's these hairs, these little tiny hairs you see that look so lovely, that contain the protein. I, I grow these from seed. I got them from, um, I grow lovely from seed. I got the seed from Australia, a company in Australia. And you can send seed abroad.
chaos can be seen all over the city when a leopard ran from a national park. You can see how a leopard is lying on the shelf in a kitchen. One video is getting super viral over internet and it is claimed to be coming from China. According to the video, this is how you will get a driving license in China. Will you ever try? I will for sure not. Don't forget to leave your thoughts. A firework shop in Hansong in northwest China's Shanxi province exploded and burned to the ground after a fire broke out there. There was no casualties, but a police investigation found the blaze was no accident and had been man-made. Although the fire and explosion destroyed many video cameras in the shop, some surveillance video managed to show a man believed to be a suspect. This is a very interesting story. A street vendor was left unconscious after a stranger applied some unknown ointment on his back in southern China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. Let's check this video out. The stoplight loose jaw is a type of deep sea dragonfish found at depth of 1700 to 13000 feet that is 500 to 4000 meter which uses bioluminescence to hunt for prey when searching for food the fish produces a red light which circumstations and most other prey are hardly able to perceive Keep your eye on the steer and see what happens.
A Bulgarian ultramarathon runner has locked himself in a glass box for 15 days to raise funds for young people to fight addiction. The box is located in the center of Bulgarian capital Sofia. Kras Gurkiev, who began the stunt on April 30, is expected to live in the glass enclosure without access to books or electronic devices. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing it is uh, for charity. I do a lot of stuff for charity and uh, uh, all the money we, uh, we gain from all this, they're going to go to um, addictions. Uh, we're talking about um, uh, uh, drugs, yeah. we're talking about uh, um, digital addictions, we're talking about uh, anything that uh, kids and uh, young people can get addicted to. I want to show how uh, this experiment is gonna. Uh, when you put somebody uh, in a box, and how uh, psychologically they 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 change. Because for me, uh, this is not, not physical. It's much more a psychological experiment. The reason being is because I want to. I, I wouldn't know what's gonna happen to me because I've never done it. I'm I'm not uh, comfortable with being. Uh, I always up. admire and appreciate your support. But this time, I'm not getting more views on the video. So I'll request you to share the video on one of the platforms like WhatsApp or Facebook. These weird things were found floating in water. In 2016, after floods ravaged the streets of Louisiana, coffins were seen floating from a nearby cemetery. Some called this flooding worse than Katrina after as much as 17 inches of rain fell in parts of the state. Unbelievable. In 2022, this natural phenomenon had people traveling to witness it for themselves. Three floating islands formed on a lake in Turkey. The wonder of nature is on Lake Turna. The islands are actually formations of aquatic plants like grass, couch grass, aquatic trees, and bushes. The soil intertwined with vegetation to create steady floating disks. People even stood on the islands and moved them around in the lake. Most people who fish are hoping to come back with a big catch. In 2022, this boat came back with our trash. It's a very sad and eerie feeling to be in the middle of the ocean and to see our own garbage floating out there. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a growing area in the ocean located halfway between Hawaii and California. It contains an estimated 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic thrown out by us. Ocean Voyages Institute is a California nonprofit organization that hopes to remove some of that plastic. They took a ship called Kwai to fish for garbage. On a 45 day mission out to sea, Kwai picked up 46 tons of waste from the Pacific Ocean. Most of it was single use plastics like toothbrushes. The ship's captain told CBS News. One thing that we uh, encountered out there was just a great amount of consumer plastics. All those types of things, they end up thousands of miles out in the Pacific. The Ocean Voyages Institute says the trash will soon serve a greater purpose. Each piece will be recycled or made into building blocks, insulation, and energy. We've worked with H Power in Hawaii where they use it to power homes. We've turned it into fuel. Because the plastic waste is so far from shorelines, no country has accepted responsibility for the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and no nations have begun cleanup efforts. It's a mysterious blob 5,000 miles long, and in March of 2023, it washed ashore on once pristine beaches in the Caribbean. So what the heck is it? It's brown floating seaweed called sargasm, and it's heading to Florida. Travel vlogger Joe Baycroft documented what he saw during his vacation in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Welcome to Mexico and Seaweed Land City. This is beyond anything I've ever seen. It's to the point in some places where you can't even see the beach anymore. A man rescued a four-year-old girl who was dangling from a fifth floor window at a residential building in Shanghai.
A man has gone viral online for completing a marathon in just three and a half hours while chain smoking throughout the 42 km race in eastern China. Video was posted on Reddit and it's coming from San Clemente, California. According to the witness, he noticed some kind of unusual reflection in front of him, but the sun wasn't right as shown in the video. Now, what kind of natural reflection is this? Is this some kind of natural phenomena? I think it is. Wine lovers in Japan stepped into a pool of luxury. This year's Pancho is no way over went, despite the rising cost of French import. まあ、元々ユネスさんにワインブロっていうのは元々があったので、そこからえっとまあボージョレヌーボーがあのあるからそれにちなんでボージョレヌーボーブロが誕生します。Rob Diane, these light pillars only occur under very specific atmospheric conditions at night, and you may have spotted them here in southern Colorado this week. Beacons in the sky, only visible during frigid temperatures. Light pillars are the reflection of city lights from ice crystals suspended in the air. These plate-shaped ice crystals are so tiny, they remain suspended in the air. They form at temperatures between 14 and negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Typically, these ice crystals are found in high cirrus clouds, but during these frigid winter nights, these ice crystals form much closer to the surface. And when you have icy low clouds and fresh snow reflecting those city lights, the resulting snow glow can be twice as bright as a full moon. This scary footage of strange scary phenomenon in the sky is coming from Russia. The sky turned fiery red over St. Petersburg. What do you think is happening there? dog was seen trying to help its elderly owners move their car across a road in southwestern China, Sichuan province.
A mother sprinted to stop her child from running into a road where there was an oncoming truck in southern China's Shenzhen. The truck driver manages to apply the brake in time and that's why no one was hurt. Vast tranches of permafrost are melting due to extreme and unprecedented warming of the earth, thereby revealing and releasing material that has been trapped in its icy grip for years. To study the emerging microbes, scientists have now revived a number of these zombie viruses from the Siberian permafrost. One of the zombie viruses revealed is thought to be nearly 50,000 years old, a record age for a frozen virus returning to a state capable of infecting other organisms. The thawing of ancient permafrost due to climate change may pose a new threat to humans, according to researchers who revived nearly two dozen viruses. European researchers revived and characterized these 30 new pathogens, that is zombie viruses, and found that they remained infectious despite spending many millennia trapped in the frozen ground. The team of researchers from Russia, Germany and France said that the biological risk of reanimating the viruses they studied was totally negligible due to the strains they targeted, mainly those capable of infecting amoeba microbes. The potential revival of a virus that could infect animals or humans is much more problematic, they said, warning that their work can be extrapolated to show that the danger is real. The team behind the work was led by microbiologist Jean-Marie Alimpic from the French National Centre for Scientific Research. While the record-breaking virus was found beneath a lake, other extraction locations include mammoth pool and the intestines of a Siberian wolf, all buried beneath permafrost. It is therefore legitimate to ponder the risk of ancient viral particles remaining infectious and getting back into circulation by the thawing of ancient permafrost. India has unveiled its first solar-powered village located in the western state of Gujarat. The nearly 10 million US dollars government-funded project involved setting up over 1300 rooftop panels on residential and government buildings connected to a power plant. <laughs> तो भी घर में सकती हूँ, आराम भी ले सकती हूँ, और बहुत अच्छा लगता है। वो खर्चा की तकलीफ होती, वो खर्चा की तकलीफ का हमारे मगज में से टेंशन कम हो गया। कि चलो अच्छा अपना जीवन नबेगा। It was benefited nearly 7,000 residents, mainly potters, tailors, farmers, shoemakers. Time वोसा बिगड़े ना तो हमारे ज़्यादा माल होता है थाक वोसा लगता है फिर आज में ज़्यादा मेहनत थी काम कर लेना पड़ता चाकड़ा घुमाना पड़ता था अभी घुना घुमाना नहीं पड़ता लाइट नहीं चल सकता है तो लाइट थी हमारे दो अधिकलाग में दो डकलाग का दूसरा फायदा होता है तो उतना माल पन बन जाता है तो ये करना चाहिए कि सर मैं पैदल ही काम करती थी मशीन पे तो ज्यादा काम नहीं कर पाती थी और अब सोलह लाइट आने से मैं मोटर लाई 2000 की और मोटर पे काम करती तो मेरे एक दो पीस ज्यादा बन जाते और पैसे ज्यादा आते तो मेरे घर के खर्चे में मैं बच्चे को ठीक ठाक से पाल सकती हूँ और रात को मैं पहले लाइट नहीं थी तो � Visually impaired man can play multiple musical instruments simultaneously, including the drums, cymbals, a guitar, and a harmonica. Luo Wing Sing has been performing as one man band for more than 10 years. He modified the instruments and strung them together so that he
he could perform anywhere. Pao 让人听到觉得是几个人在做这种事儿，就是把它分明分清楚，这些都是要通过可能大量的练习，然后最后熟练了，然后再组合在一起。这两年突然是在这个社交平台网络直播上突然火了但这个呢我觉得它不是什么偶然它是因为我这么多年一直在坚持就是我觉得在梦想的路上是要坚持而且是要脚踏实地机会它是给有准备的Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Peace. Bye bye. And don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel. You can find the link. Pastry, you can be creative. You can do a lot of things with chocolate. Can't imagine eating this after all the work <laughs> you put into it. I'm with Smita Grossi, who's the executive pastry chef at the Grand Hyatt Hong Kong. Smita, of course, is a pro at making all types of delectable treats, but today she is here to show us uh, how to make something a little bit more out there. We're going to do today a chocolate dinosaur um, from scratch, from tempering the chocolate and then sculpting it and then spraying it, give it life. No other pastry chef has done that and no one would do that. Right. This is dark chocolate. And why we make dark chocolate? Because of stability put it here we don't always pour everything we will pour three quarter of it now we are cooling it down so this is part of the tempering process exactly you can see it's like smooth, smooth creamy. creamy it has set so it's different yeah yeah shiny too yeah <laughs> it really has a sheen to it now. you can feel you maybe try to feel the texture then mm -hmm. so is this the perfect consistency yeah 
fill it, but it's not overflow. Okay, just right to the rim. Yeah. Okay. You see, you can just press on it. And you have the scraper here. You take like this. So now the chocolate is already here, and uh, we will leave it in the cold room, and then we can start the sticking. The fun part. The fun part. <laughs> I use the fire gun, so I just warm it. Then we put it here, and we connect it. Right. When you feel it's smooth, and then uh -huh. you can check. It's that looks good. Uh, a little bit more. more. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. Them Slowly, with love. It is. Touch. Yeah. We are using something called cooling spray. We still need to carve on it because all the chocolate goes around and it's covered the details of it. So later we need to fix with chocolate. I can't imagine eating this after all the work <laughs> you put into it. Now we had people breaking it and eating it, but uh, many people took it away home. Okay? For coloring, normally we will use um, cocoa butter, chocolate mixed together. We have um, white coloring first, very light to spray on. And then we will do a second spray with the yellow coloring and the last the green coloring, just to get that natural color of a dinosaur. Put the jar here, right? Okay, so I will pipe a little bit of chocolate. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care, peace, bye bye, and don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel. You can find the link in the description below.